Hello YouTube friends and welcome. In this video I have for you a uh, another watch. Uh, this time we will be talking about uh, the the Seiko SSC 015P1. So let us start with the box. It comes in nice white paper box you have your quick manual with the warranty card then you have your bigger manual in all different kind of languages and the watch case this is a uh, this is a nice watch case not like like the standard watch cases that are open opened via hinges this is just a slide Light case and here is the watch. So this is a prospect line, Seiko prospect line, which are the I would say uh, a higher quality uh, tier of uh, Seiko watches. This is again the reference number also the, the part number of the watch and the uh, caliber of the movement this is a solar powered quartz product so you have the, the Seiko solar right there Okay, and let us talk a little bit about the, the watch now. So firstly, the the size of it, if you can see, this is uh, a larger watch. The, the manufacturer says uh, that this is a 44, 44 millimeter bezel case size and 47 millimeters of uh, with the crown so let us check it so the case is let's say 43.48 so not the whole 44 millimeters and with the crown 48 so this is larger than they say let's measure it also this way and now it's only 47 okay then the thickness of the watch is exactly 14 millimeters and the and the manufacturer is saying this is a 14.5 millimeters case so also not exactly what they tell in the description what is not a problem now let's talk a little, about, a little bit about the finish uh, the case and the bracelets is made out of, uh, of stainless steel this is a 327 series stainless steel which is much better uh, scratch resistant and uh, corrosion resistant than the previous steel they have used on their watches uh, the key features of the, of the watch 
are screw down pushers and screw down crown given that this is a uh, air diver gives you a uh, water resistance of 200 meters this is really nice this is a uh, this is a chronograph so it has the it has uh, three sub dials and you can you can uh, use it as a to uh, to track time these two dials are one is your 24 hour total uh, display and this one is your second hand and this is your uh, one hour totalizer for the for the chronograph function and this third uh, hand with a nice red arrow is the chronograph uh, uh, hand uh, another features are that the Seiko is using a little bright uh, luminescent uh, paint white uh, on the, the markers and the hands which will stay uh, really nice and bright on a full charge for a few hours uh, I read about that uh, some users claim that it will last the whole night uh, the bezel is uh, unidirectional It is what it is. Uh, I would say it has no gear, that is very good. But the clicking sound is um, very, uh, very uh, low on the, on the. You can probably hear it, but this is very, very, very subtle. Um, and it has a, a smoothness to it. Now, uh, the bracelet has a fold over safety clasp with button railings these are stamped not machined like I would prefer on on this price of watch and uh, the manufacturer is uh, what is my my one and only, only, only downside of this watch for me is the is the bracelet length. So uh, I have I have a eight and a half inch uh, wrist, so I can fit this watch over my uh, wrist. And also, I can close it, but it will it will be uncomfortable for me. So they say uh, the the strap or the bracelet uh, will fit a, a 8.75 inch wrist what is surely not the case uh, maybe maybe they uh, they advertise this size uh, with the extended uh, the extended uh, diver extension what is here so in this way you can uh, wear the over the watch over your wetsuit but this will be really 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 stupid to to wear it in a day-to-day uh, -day watch with uh, this extension and currently I'm trying to reach the the Seiko Seiko customer service because they offer free links so I hope it will work out and then I will uh, extend the the bracelet okay now let's talk a little bit about the, the movement uh, as I mentioned uh, Seiko is using uh, the caliber V175 and they are, they are describing it as an environmental solar energy power saving quartz movement so this is a quartz movement so it should be uh, really really uh, let's say um, precise so down to down to uh, around one second 
maybe or maybe one second per month I don't know it will depend and and the, um, they are they are saying that uh, you should charge this uh, on a direct sunlight and this is um, this is why here the manual is the chart that if you have a uh, so this is in, is in German so if you have a, a direct sunlight with the good weather uh, that translates to say 10,000 lux uh, you have to charge it for uh, for five hours to to get a full charge the full charge of the battery translates to to, f to six months of operating okay okay so if you have let's say um, a fluorescent uh, fluorescent uh, in inside um, inside inside light so in your office maybe you will need a a 110 hours to to charge it full and this one should be a a desk light which is really really you can't <laughs> charge it on desk light so uh, users uh, recommend to to store this watch uh, somewhere near your window so she uh, can get enough uh, solar uh, uh, light for charge uh, a nice feature is when uh, when the second hand uh, moves in increments of two seconds so she will skip one second then uh, this, uh, this is your cue that you need to charge the watch so this is really nice so it will not just slow down but it will uh, it will uh, give you give you a hint that uh, the, the the watch needs to be charged so just keep that in mind if you if you ever want to uh, to get one of these uh, Seiko is, uh, is currently offering three variants I would say this is this is the most uh, most uh, let's say uh, good 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 looking for me because this is uh, this is full black with uh, red accents but they also give you a blue uh, that has a blue part from 0 to 15 minutes and also a, a yellow that has a part uh, from 0 to 15 minutes in yellow and uh, hence uh, the second uh, I would say the, the chronograph hand and the the minute totalizer on the chronograph is is yellow and on the blue version is blue the blue version comes on uh, this style of a bracelet and the yellow comes on a rubber style bracelet so uh, the crystal used on this watch is the Seiko uh, hard Lex crystal so I would say it is uh, it is better than uh, than, uh, than nothing uh, but uh, for sure they could use they could use uh, sapphire and uh, uh, I'm getting uh, from from different kinds of, uh, of watch reviews that the, that the, the crystals are used only in the high-end watches and come on let's be honest if if it Chinese can use uh, can use uh, sapphire crystal on their cheap uh, replicas and in fact it is uh, it is uh, sapphire then uh, then why it not to use it in in a in a really nice high-end let's say high-end mid mid to high-end uh, diverse watch from Seiko but it is what it is uh, try to quickly show you the 
back side the Seiko tsunami wave it's really nicely polished so there you have your standard information about the resistance, water resistance and the serial number okay so thanks for watching and as always have a nice day